Out of the boat motor trailer package, the trailer probably has the hardest life of all. Trailers can sit idle for many weeks on end. They then travel long distances, the bearings and the hubs heat up, you reverse the trailer into the salt water, and that cold, harsh salt water quenches uh, those hot elements. So it's not surprising that a poorly maintained trailer can cause you no end of grief. The first thing we do when we retrieve our boat out of the salt water is to, to wash all of the external components. Now, the boat's off this trailer at the moment for, for, for demonstration purposes. What we'd normally do is we'd grab our hose, we'd hose down all of the extremities, all of the, the outside points of the trailer. This is a galvanized trailer, however, washing a galvanized trailer will increase its life. Uh, and we'll particularly focus on things like the axles, the, the springs, and in particular, the, uh, the brakes and the hubs. So we'll give those all a good wash down to ensure that the salt crystals are washed away and that all of our components function properly, they don't corrode, they don't seize. So that's the basics of washing down your trailer. Make sure you wash the, the extremity. Also ensure that if you have a box section trailer such as this, this one's sealed, so this one's okay, but if, if the trailer box section is not sealed, that you wash inside the box section as well because pooled water will, will, will stay there, will, will, um, the salt will crystallize and will eventually cause corrosion from, from inside your trailer. So it's important to wash inside and out if you can access the inside of your trailer. So that's the basics of, of washing your trailer. We'll walk around the trailer now, we'll go around the trailer and, and look at some basic maintenance and we'll show you how to pack a bearing and check your bearings. So it's important to regularly maintain and inspect your trailer, especially prior to any long trips. What I'd normally do is I'd go through prior to each trip, I'd check the trailer lights, ensure that they're functioning correctly. Now that we have the boat off the trailer, we can go around and check the rollers, ensure that the rollers are, are rolling freely, they're not seized. If they require any lubrication or maintenance, I'll do that right now. Move along the trailer, inspect the trailer chassis, ensure there are no cracks, there's no damage to the trailer, there's no corrosion or significant amounts of corrosion. I'll grease any linkages or any moving parts, so we'll take a look at the brakes for example. The brakes have a few moving linkages, I'll keep those lubricated and keep those maintained so that they flow and function freely. I'll continue moving along the trailer chassis, regularly looking and inspecting the trailer, ensuring that there's no issues, there are no, there's no damage, no cracking. It's important to ensure that your spare tyre and your tyres in general are fully inflated. The spare tyre is often neglected and in times when you need the spare, you don't want it to be flat. I'll take a look at the trailer winch. I'll look at the winch strap or winch cable, make sure the cable is not frayed and the strap's not damaged. I'll have a look at the gearing, make sure the gearing is correctly and adequately greased, make sure there's no major corrosion or seizure in any of those components. And then I'll move along the trailer, I'll have a look at the coupling. This coupling here has a couple of grease nipples. I'll grab a grease gun, I'll pump grease into those nipples, ensuring that there's sufficient lubrication for that system. I'll check my trailer brakes, my cables. I'll also check my trailer plug, my power plug. Make sure that these points here, these connectors, are free of any, of any corrosion. Make sure that the connections are nice and tight. So by basically looking at your trailer after each trip or regularly ensuring that you check the rollers, check the components, keep your trailer well lubricated, that will help uh, improve the longevity of your trailer and, and a positive boating experience. We'll also go through now and quickly look at packing a wheel bearing. If you are travelling long distances and using your trailer often, it's important to have a selection of quality spare parts. And in particular, you need to have a spare set of wheel bearings and even a hub along with some, uh, some quality wheel grease or wheel bearing grease. Make sure this grease is waterproof and high temperature, high temperature bearing grease. We'll quickly go through now and check the trailer bearings or the trailer wheel bearings. Uh, we've jacked this trailer up. You'd normally secure the trailer, you would chock it, you would um, ensure that your handbrake is on if it's a brake trailer. So we start out checking the wheel bearings by spinning the wheels. Make sure the wheels spin freely, make sure there's no grinding noise. That's spinning fine, I can't hear any noise those bearings seem sound. That's one check. The second check is to grab the wheel and firmly try and move it laterally. And just check that there's no play in the wheel bearings. There's no slop in those wheels at all. That's fine, they're all rigid, they're all secure. Those wheel bearings, wheel bearings should be fine. If you do, however, encounter uh, some grinding noise or a little bit of play, uh, it's important to take the wheel bearings out, inspect them and repack them with grease. 
a tip for, um, for traveling in particular is rather than just carrying uh, a set of bearings and some grease, is to actually pack the bearings, insert them in the hub and carry a pre-greased hub. So if you're on the side of the road and you have a failure, it's easy enough to remove the wheel, remove the entire hub and replace the hub rather than sitting down fiddling around with having to repack and re-grease bearings. So we'll quickly go through now and show you how to basically pack one of these bearings. So now we'll pack this wheel bearing. It's important when you're packing a wheel bearing to grab some of this grease. Yeah, place the grease in the palm of your hand. And what you do is you try and force the grease through all of these little cavities here. So you grab the bearing and force the bearing down. And as you're going along, applying pressure and trying to get that grease traveling through all of those rollers. And you'll see that this grease is starting to ooze out of these little, little, um, little roller bearings here. So go around the entire bearing, packing as you go, applying downward pressure, forcing that grease through. So it's almost complete now. And you'll do the other side as well. Just quickly apply the grease through this bearing. So that bearing is reasonably packed. Grab some additional grease and just grease the outside rollers. It doesn't hurt to, um, to, to apply a reasonable amount of grease. You don't want to apply too much and, and pack your hub because you don't want to blow out the seal. But um, you know, water will eventually get into, in, into, into um, any hub. And it's important to have a lot of grease in there so that, um, so that the bearings are well protected. So that's a reasonably well packed bearing. We would assemble that in the hub, apply some grease to the hub, put that all back together, secure it, Spin the wheel, make sure the wheel's spinning freely, there are no noises, there's no play. So that's the basics of trailer maintenance. If you're unsure about any aspect of trailer maintenance, in particular packing and replacing your bearings, consult your local marine mechanic. And stay tuned to the Fishing World website for more detailed information on how to repack and replace your wheel bearings in further episodes. <laughs>